making a game could take a long time. A single game, whether it's Roblox or not, will take weeks, months, even oh, years. But what if I do something different? What if I try to make a Roblox game? Not in a year, not in a month, not in a week, not even a single day, but a single hour. Hi, I am Reza W. So I was chilling out in my bed, watching some YouTube videos, and then I somehow went up to make a Roblox game. In only one hour. So, I opened the Roblox studio, started a stopwatch, set it to one hour, and the challenge starts. Okay, so let's sketch a game idea. So my idea is that... You stupid, what are you doing? You only have one hour, just make a simple game. But, wait, you know what? You may be right. So after a beef with myself, I decided to make a color matching game where you need to stand on a platform that has a matching color with the selected color. If you stand on a wrong color, you will fall. That's it. I know it's really simple, but hey, it's still a game, so I don't really. So here I'm making the platform. I decided to make it hexagonal shape because I think it looks cooler. And then I started to make the scripts. Now, this is the most time consuming thing because I'm not really good at scripting, so. Basically what I do is, I store the available colors for the platform in a table using recolor.random and then I set all the platform color randomly based on the color table. While doing that, I also decided to make the lobby and the part to see what the selected color is and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible so that I can work on other things. After that, I decided to make a new UI for the selected color and then I went back to scripting. So I think I'm going to explain the script so basically, every 5 seconds, it will change the selected color variable and the selected color thing will Boring, no one cares. Oh hey, it works, let's... Oh, never mind. After a bit of scripting, this is what I get so far. You might think that it is work as intended, but it is not. Some of the not matching color but were not becoming invisible and I don't really know why. Look, some of the parts change even though they are not supposed to. This is the part where I'm going insane. I try to go back and check the scripts, debugging multiple times, but the stupid bug still happening. And I was sure that the script is supposed to work. Without realizing, 40 minutes has passed. And in this moment, I don't even know what the hell is going on. I even decided to scrap this video and make a new one, but I will feel stupid if I did that. And then I realized that the problem might not come from the script, but the platform itself. So I checked the platform. And I was right. When I'm making this platform, some of them were overlap. Making this stupid, annoying bug. So, now that I found the cause of the problem, I should be fine, right? No, I only have 10 minutes left. At this point, I know that I'm going to fail the challenge anyway. But at this last 10 minutes, I tried to finish the script and make a 2D camera. But right when I'm scripting the 2D camera, The timer is up. That's it. I failed the one hour challenge. Well, I kinda accept it because it was my own fault not becoming careful when making things. But hey, the game is still unfinished and I really really want to publish it. So I break the time limit and finish the game. I change the lighting and finish the 2D camera script and here's how the game looks like. Keep in mind that I failed the challenge and this game was made more than an hour. but. If you want to play the game, you can find the game link in the description. Well, in conclusion, I'm still very naive at making things. And when you're making a game, a single problem like this could be very, very stressful. 
But hey, it was a fun challenge to be honest. I might do it again in a later time. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.